Who am I today? Am I the drama? It's in my head. I'm not the drama. Am I the villain? That was me on all of season 10 of Project Moon. <laughs> am I the villain? Yes, you were the villain. Hi guys, it's Gunnar Jethridge. Welcome back to my channel. As you know, I'm a DIY designer. I'm a dress designer. I like to take on fun challenges. I love a deadline usually. Your boy likes to work under pressure. That's why I did well on Project Runway. Well being, I uh, didn't get eliminated first. I also didn't win. So let's also preface with that. Um, I'm sure my editor is going to have a blast making fun of me with that. Oh yes. I have no idea who this girl is who wants to be this girl. I mean, it is not cool, it is not edgy, it is not modern. I mean, it's bizarre. Okay. This week we're doing something really crazy. I actually was introduced to a family known on YouTube as the Beverly Halls. They are very fun, very high energy. They play a lot of pranks on each other. I would probably kill somebody if they came for me the way that they do with each other, but they need Halloween costumes. It is very last minute. Uh, their Halloween costumes fell through and they were like, can you please help us? And I was like, you know what? Yes, we'll take this on. And we decided that we were going to do the Wizard of Oz. We're gonna do it Gunner's way. And so that means I'm gonna kind of take it in like this cool kind of like streetwear way. It's like very representative. You'll look at them and be like, oh my God, it's the Wizard of Oz. But like, it's not screen accurate, especially because I have like five days to make this. Five days to make five costumes on top of the rest of costumes I'm doing. That, my dear challenge. You should also check out my other social media channels if you're wanting to learn how to sew, you just want to support me. I've got a Patreon link down there that's just for you. Before we get into the video, make sure that you like, subscribe, hit the little bell button. I want you guys to see my content as it comes out. Okay, so I just had a super successful call with the Beverly Halls. This is a lot of work. <laughs> I love to bite off more than I can chew. No, I actually think that this is gonna be fine. Like I said, I did find her fabric already. I committed to it without her seeing it, but I loved it and I think it's gonna be amazing. And now I just have some like major thrifting to do and some like major crafting to do. So I just got to it. I started out with Dorothy cause I'm like, this is the one I'm gonna make from scratch head to toe. Thankfully, I found this really awesome fabric. It's got these like really great rose print all over it. It's just cool and kind of modern. Brooke is like so chic and so cute. And so I was like, let's give her something fun and flirty. I built it out with some volume. And then I added in these like really super cute little straps at the top. Okay, so ta-da, she's pretty much done. But I just feel like it's missing something. Number one, I would really like to add a metallic red belt. I just think that would be really cool, something that looks like the ruby slippers. I'm also playing around with these little pearls that I have. I may be thinking about placing them sporadically all over the dress, which I know is not very Dorothy, but I just feel like it adds this little bit of like, boom. I don't know what to call it. We need to get, I hate this store, but I'm gonna, Suck it up. Let's do it. Ugh. Do I feel like I got a lot done today? Yes. Do I feel intimidated by the amount of work I have left to do? Also, yes. Do I feel like I overpaid for everything in the Joanne? Also, yes. So lots of yeses happening today. Do I think I'm going to be able to get all three of these done before the end of the night? That's a no. But everything else is a yes for today. Let's pray that my chai latte has the energy of a god. This is, this is impossible. You, you, you can't be alive. You'd have to be a, a god. Okay, so I'm in an H&M looking for basics. Why are basics so hard to find for kids? Also, I've never shopped for kids before, so this is like a total you know, experience for me. Coming down the escalator, I got some things. I have no idea if they're gonna work. To be honest with you, I'm like, they're gonna take a lot of work. So, I love my life. No, actually I'm very thankful, but sometimes I do myself wrong. Okay, so we got a lot of things today. Also, let's not forget this mood bag. 
We're going to do it. Okay, we're moving on to the scarecrow. I found these super cute little pants and this little plaid shirt, and I'm just gonna like scarecrow them up. I'm gonna add some burlap to them and like distress everything. I love patchwork. I love all these different like textiles against each other. I wanna make it kind of feel like it's its own little thing and like super textural and cool. So that's like the goal with the scarecrow. It is messy. I'm also a little allergic to burlap because I'm like itching and scratching. Note to self, wash your hands in between touching your face when you're working with burlap. Let's start painting some of this denim. Here's the thing. It soaks it up, which means that these are probably going to be really stiff. So like, I'm probably gonna have to let this dry and then take this to like a laundry mat and then put it through a cycle a couple of times to kind of break down the plastic and the acrylic of the paint. I thought about spray painting them, but if I'm honest, I I just don't want to poison them. Um, I feel like acrylic is a much safer way to go. They are so stiff. <laughs> I mean, I hope he's able to put them on. They literally stand up on their own. Like. so funny to me. <laughs> I don't know how literal he wanted me to take it, but here we are. I found this little uh, jumpsuit at H&M. It's like a little sweatsuit and it's kind of got lion colors. I'm gonna make the most insane, huge faux fur hood for the little lion because I think it's going to be so sweet. Um, one thing is faux fur gets everywhere when you're working with it. It's awful to work with. So when cutting it, I just try to cut only this bottom layer. And then when you peel it off, it just peels the fur apart and then it doesn't go everywhere. That's the goal at least. I have got hair everywhere right now. It's literally just floating. It's hard because you have to like tuck the fur into the seam and make sure that you're not sewing it in so that it like lays correctly on the outside. It's also very thick. And I plan on doing two layers of this and I just like hope that it's not too much. I just think it'll look really full and huge around his neck. It'll feel very lion-like, which is the goal. I've also been watching Almost Famous, which makes me want to quit my job and become a musician. Or date one, either way. It has broken you know. Okay, this is gonna be a long process, huh? Okay, time to break out the big needles. This is like what I sew like denim with. It's a size 18. I think that the fur I found looks like real lion mane fur, and I'm gonna line the inside with it too so it's just like super. I am living my Lion King fantasy. The inside and the outside are both fur. This is exactly what I was picturing. It's also really ridiculous. I'm obsessed with it. It's gonna look so cute on him. The little dog Toto. So I found this cute little onesie and I started sewing these little leather spots on it and then I added these little leather ears. I didn't wanna go too over the top um, and I just think it's cute. Okay, so I have the Beverly Halls like done. So enjoy me manically running around the studio trying to pack this and get this out to them in time for Halloween. Like this was such a fun project. I think they are such a cute family. They're so much fun. And honestly, like collaboration is like one of my favorite things about what I get to do. And like Halloween is like the best time to do that. So this was super fun. I love the way it turned out. I hope that they like it. Thank you so much, Gunner. We appreciate you so much for taking time out of your very busy schedule to make us amazing, custom, modern Wizard of the Oz. Wizard of Oz. Ah! Wizard of Oz. And we're just so thankful for you and we are so happy with how everything turned out. You did an amazing job. Everything is so detailed and cute and different and we are just so thankful and satisfied with all of your work, so. Thank you, Gunner. Thank you so much thank from the you. Beverly Hall family. We love you. Peace. Peace. I want to say thank you guys for watching my video. Again, make sure you check out my other social media channels. They're in the description of the video. And until next time, bye guys. Just wanted to say thank you. I just bit my tongue. Gunner, how does that happen? Ew.